today we are going to start the next section of your systematic literature review paper and that is results and findings in this section there is a lot of activities that you need to do basically whatever we have planned in section 3 of the review paper on methodology we have to execute that over the next few days so that is what we are going to do so today will be more or more of in class activity where i will get you to start working on categorizing your literature looking at your research questions mapping that with the data extraction plan or the table that we have done and actually playing with your citations with your papers let's start so within results and findings i want to start to show you an example of where we are going to begin so what do we need to start with the activities that i have planned for today's session so you need to have your research question identified and your data extraction plan or data extraction table that we start with did earlier that should be ready so those are the two things we would need to begin the work and of course you need to have your papers that you have searched to connect these three dots i want to show you this paper which is on blockchain and healthcare so this slide here shows the research questions that they have identified for this paper so i'll not read through the research questions but you can see these are the research questions they have this is their data extraction plan here they are calling it as data charting but basically this is telling what is the information that needs to be extracted from each of the primary studies that you have shortlisted based upon your inclusion and exclusion criteria so here they are extracting some basic information such as year of the publication type of the paper type of the article like research papers reviews position papers and so on in our case it will only be primary studies because we are not using most of us are most likely not using a review article then for each research paper they are looking at these five items data items that they want to extract and if you look at these five items and look at the research questions that they have there is a one-to-one -one mapping which means the first research question relates with the first uh, item that they want to extract and so on so having your research questions finalized and the mapping that we did from the research questions to your data extraction is now we have to actually make use of it and the result of that activity that is using the research questions and the data extraction has now resulted in a knowledge map or a thematic map on the based on the research questions these bubbles here are research questions and this is some sub themes under each of the different research questions our next task is to get to this stage yeah to get to the stage where we have your main your your slr in the in the middle here we then have your research questions that you have identified and then a thematic map or a knowledge map based upon that information so to begin what do you need you will need a final list of papers that comply with your inclusion and exclusion criteria in an excel spreadsheet or in your reference management tool so that is what is required so i hope you have this ready by now the list of papers based upon the keywords that you have searched you have applied the inclusion exclusion criteria and selected the papers that you are going to as your primary studies which we are going to investigate in this SLR. Ideally, this should be in the reference tool as well as in the spread. So what is step one? Open up your research questions and open your data extraction table. 